Forty-five percent of youth who are LGBTQ have seriously contemplated suicide in the last year. That disturbing statistic from the Trevor Project, which is an organization that provides services to that population of young people, gave us that information. And Crown Force Rob Nesbitt looked through the key findings of the national survey on LGBTQ youth mental health. He joins us live now with reaction. Rob. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and it's clear from the survey published today by the Trevor Project that gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, queer, and questioning youth need access to mental health services now more than ever. The colors of the pride flag are bright, but the experiences for those who identify with each color of the rainbow can be dark. A survey released Wednesday by the Trevor Project shows that in the last year, 45% of LGBTQ youth seriously considered suicide, with 14% attempting to take their own life. While the numbers are concerning, they're consistent. Rick Colto is the education manager at Our Family Coalition, an organization that provides support for LGBTQ youth and their families. He says there's a direct correlation between how LGBTQ people are treated in public and the response of our youth say gay. such as the don't say gay bill that became law in Florida not being able even able to talk about your identity in schools is making uh, environments where these students are feeling rather hopeless nearly 34,000 people ranging in ages 13 to 24 took part in the national survey According to the survey, LGBTQ youth of color, transgender and non-binary youth considered an attempted suicide at higher rates. But if you parse out by race or you parse out by location or you parse out by any other of the, uh, the different factors that might affect their lives, then you can see a huge disparity. Researchers found that teens and young adults with supported families, schools, and communities reported lower rates of attempting suicide, but that 60% of LGBTQ youth who wanted mental health care in the past year weren't able to get it. Occulto says the Trevor Project's findings may be concerning, but that he's encouraged by the help that's available to LGBTQ youth in California. California Department of Education, in fact, has an entire part of their website dedicated solely to LGBTQ resources for both youth and for educators and families that need them. Though thousands of youth took part in the survey, the Trevor Project emphasized that the organization does not have known counts or registries for LGBTQ youth and data on the population's mental health outcomes remains limited. Live in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.